So my name is Muhammad Helmi Abdul Wahab, <coughs> senior lecturer from the University to Nusin on Malaysia. So I'll be giving a sharing about my experience on the implementation of the blended learning in the pandemic era. Okay, so we just started our pandemic at the uh, last uh, late uh, 2019 and it started in the 2020. So my experience in applying about the uh, teaching of the artificial intelligence courses because uh, this is a quite a uh, very theoretical subjects. Okay, so this is a very very challenging in order to ensure that the students can really understand what the theory which is, has been taught in the class. So basically, uh, <coughs> what we can say that uh, this is about me. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm from the uh, Institute of Malaysia and then I'm the visiting research fellow from the University of Malaysia Police and I also the IHP senior members uh, uh, Malaysia section. All right. Okay, so this is uh, my universities in Malaysia. So this is our new building. So we can uh, uh, the chancellery office. Yeah. And then this uh, information about the university that the university just established in 1993. And uh, we have the public university, it's a government-sponsored uh, university. All right. So when we talk about these uh, AI uh, courses, okay, so as we all know that uh, we are already in the era of uh, industrial revolution 4.0, and uh, artificial intelligence is one of the uh, courses, the popular courses, which has been offered by our universities, okay? Uh, instead of AI, we have another subject just like a big data. We have data science. Uh, we have cybersecurity uh, program as well. All right. So I'm teaching uh, the AI at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, a fourth year uh, students. Okay, the final year student. Uh, so the most challenging things because uh, uh, the the AI is the basic course which is offered at the fourth year student with no background of AI. Okay, so that uh, there is the challenging uh, in order to have uh, some attraction. Okay, so during the pandemic era, we had a very limited uh, movement. Okay, so how do we attract uh, the student to uh, to like, okay, to ensure that this subject making a uh, more fun and attractive. Okay. So since this is uh, one of the challenging things, okay, during the before the pandemic, we have a, a face to face class, okay, just example, and we have several activities uh, outside there. So basically, uh, we have a lab, we have some uh, programming things, and however, due to some of these courses, uh, is very very basic, okay. So when we introduce the AI programming uh, in this course, okay, the student might not able to deliver the the to develop the AI system very well. Okay, so that this is the challenging. All right, so that what I'm doing is uh, started from the, the pandemic era. Okay, so we just having the online methods of teaching. Okay, we don't have any face to face class. We don't have any labs. Okay, we just have the theoretical subject. Okay, and then what we can say that uh, the artificial intelligence subject is one of the most challenging things to make it fun and attractive because there are a lot of uh, the uh, theoretical things that to be done and to be taught in the class all right okay so we talk about the blended learning see the the, the traditional uh, definition of blended learning is about the combination of the face-to-face uh, -face learning plus the online learning okay so that we have the activities that has been done face-to-face -face and we have plus the online learning mechanism so that we call it the blended learning however when during the pandemic era so we don't have the face-to-face -face learning okay so how do we represent that face-to-face -face learning in the online mode all right okay so that the situation is due to the pandemic of COVID-19 all teaching and learning are in online mode okay so that we are using any online tools such as the Google Meeting uh, Zoom, Webex, okay, Microsoft Teams, uh, and then this uh, teaching online is not considered as online if no recording made during the lecture. Okay, so that uh, we have the class, 
online without recording the the, the teaching uh, session we consider as a face to face teaching so if we record this one okay record this session and this session made available on the internet this one we call it the online uh, blended learning okay so that since that we are not yet uh, using the recording uh, mechanism for this uh, online teaching so we need to have another activities that can consider online and uh, recorded okay so that uh, the online mode of uh, teaching using the the online tools without recording we consider as a face to face and then we have plus with the, the other activities which is the recorded version okay so that this version uh, this material is available on the internet like youtube so that the student can uh, can re uh, replay again the videos and see back the videos okay from regular uh, regularly time okay so based on the, the the study that 15 minutes online mode equal to one hour face to face teaching in classroom okay so this is the situation that we have now so that what we do is uh, the challenge is the limited way to attract the students since the subject is very very technical and a lot of uh, theory a lot of formula uh, to discuss okay and then during the online time sometimes they are not opening the cameras and uh, they are not opening their microphone so we don't we do not know whether the student is understand whether they are there to hear our the lectures or not okay so this is the the, the, the challenge of this uh, online teaching so that what we do is here we try to change the, a little bit the activities of the class okay and then uh, the time allocated for each session, okay, the, the three credit hour subject, okay, is a three hour per slot per week for 14 weeks if we done for face to face. So since this is the very uh, challenging time for to do the class three hour at online mode, okay, so I decided that to have only one hour, okay, one hour lecture to teach the student the theory. Okay, the theory. And then we have another activity so that we organize several activities. Okay, for example, the AI webinars. We, we, we try to deal with the online workshop available, uh, freely available on the net. Okay, so that the student can attend and get certificates. And then we have, uh, uh, we're calling the expert from outside to give the talk about AI only one hour. Okay, so that from there we try to diversify the process of teaching in the in the universities. Okay, so what we can see that the content of AI just is this is the traditional content of this subject. Okay, so we have we can have the the introduction of AI. We have the uh, the intelligent agent, uh, problem solving and knowledge representation, and we have the deep learning theory <coughs> and the special topics on. Uh, AI. So it comprises of <coughs> 13 weeks plus one hour, uh, one, one week revision for the student. Okay. So that since we have the 14 weeks, we only allocate one hour online face-to-face uh, -face teaching. Okay. So the rest for the two hours. Okay. We have another one hour. We will organize these, uh, the external activities such as the webinars. All right. So the activities that we have uh, online mode classroom for one or 1.5 hours, okay? Online webinar from external speaker. So <clears throat> we just invite the speakers from uh, anywhere because during the pandemic, they don't need to travel. And also we can save the, the, the money, we can save the traveling, we can save anything so that the speaker can give the talk from their own place for one hour per week, okay? And then, we also have the full online classroom from external speaker. Okay, for example, for this subject, this semester, we already deal with one of the professor from India, okay, Professor Jude Heman, to have the talk on the uh, workshop on the deep learning for the five days. Okay, so that we allow the student to join free, okay, without cost. And then at the end of the day, after the five days, the student is awarded a certificate of uh, participation, okay? And then 
we attending the workshop from outside. So that, for example, for this semester, we have a workshop from Pakistan and we have a workshop from the other place. Okay, so that we also ask the student to attend those workshops to get the external knowledge, to get the external information about AI since the boring theory in the class. Okay, so this is the example of the uh, webinar that we organize. Okay, so we started at the week five. Okay, we try to invite the speakers to give the certain topics. Okay, so that we allocate only one hour from the teaching. So we have the th th three hours total, one hour for teaching, the regular teaching, and we have another one hour for the uh, webinar series so that the student can get more knowledge about the uh, certain topic. So since we start on the week five, so we have another speakers for every week. Okay, so for every week, we have a different speakers. Okay, so that for example, this one is a week five where we have the another uh, people talking about the convolutional uh, neural networks. And then the next week, we have another speakers from other university. Okay, they're freely uh, available to give a talk on uh, fuzzy multiple criteria so that the student get extra knowledge from this uh, speaker. Okay, so next following week also, we have uh, speakers from Thailand. Okay, so they are talking about the uh, real world application. So in this uh, talk, they try to put some programming techniques okay, uh, in the real world application, how to deal with the real data. So that the student quite uh, impressive uh, attending this uh, seminar and then uh, they can get a lot of uh, ideas and discussion with the international speakers. All right. And then we have another speakers that talking about the spiking neural networks. This one also uh, people from another local university, but uh, he was from the uh, Yemen, Yemeni in the Middle East and then uh, working in the Malaysia. And also uh, we have another next about the uh, missing data prediction using the machine learning approach. This one of the speaker, uh, another guest speaker they invited uh, from the central of Malaysia. Okay, so that this, uh, this topic talking about the, uh, the machine learning concept. All right. And then the next webinar, we're talking about the human inspired algorithm so that the student get the new perspective. Okay, the new perspective of AI because uh, AI, uh, there's another, uh, another general terms and another, the modern AI, we're talking about the natural uh, inspired algorithm. Okay, so one of them is the human inspired algorithm. And then we have the, some speakers talking about this topic. All right. And then we have the, the, the another, the northern speaker, we, we invite well, the northern speaker from other university talking about the big data and AI so that the student can see or the big data and what is the relation between the big data and AI and insight and opportunities. All right. And then uh, we have another talk about the Asian and multi-agent system. Okay. This one also talk about the another speaker. So every, every week we have different speaker so we invite from outside without a cost okay because they are just doing their their webinars online all right and this is the the last uh the last uh webinar which is held uh in the week uh, 13 okay we have the 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 topic about the the future interfacing uh, in ai okay so that this is very interesting topic they give a various knowledge about ai itself to the student so that the student can enjoy and having some uh, some fun and some some interaction with the speakers outside so that they will feel that oh this ai is not only the boring theory but it is a, a very very interesting topics that related to the industrial revolution 4.4.0 all right so apart from that okay after that we having some webinars with the student and then we we try to assess them okay so we ask them to 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 have a, a two mini assignment. Okay, uh, the first assignment they have tried to find the topics. Okay, uh, which any topic. So they are freely to choose any topics. Then they need to talk to pre-recorded the, the the talk about five minutes to explain uh, any topic on AI. Okay, so that the video will be submitted to the uh, learning management system. Okay, and then uh, the video also available to all the student can access so that 
that is another knowledge definition uh, dissemination concept okay so they already have the uh, about nine webinars about the knowledge about the ai the, the various topic of ai and then the video about the ai topic also uh, each student can okay, individually produce each uh, video so it's about five to six minutes about the ai so that it is accessible to all the other students so the knowledge can get uh, so very very fun and attractive okay and the second assignment we try to evaluate the student to do some mini research okay this one is by pairing okay two percent per, per per group okay do mini survey on the related algorithm based on the full online courses because they already attended the the workshop outside okay for example we have the speakers from india they're conducting the workshop for five days so based on that we try to give some assignment that, to do some mini research based on the videos that uh just attended the the workshop okay so they produce the report need to be uploaded in the learning system and this report is accessible between peers that means their friends also can access to read and to get some knowledge from there okay all right and then we have the mini ai project which is uh, we involve the programming okay uh, they need to design and develop the very simple ai system that able to learn from the user and then we have some online presentation has been set to present and demo the system so that the student will be able to demo their development okay to the lecturers so that we can see the ability of the student to develop the ai system based on the understanding concept they learn in the class all right and then they have the portfolio uh, which is a summative evaluation which is uh, we don't have the final exam uh, for the subject so we change with the portfolio so that all the portfolio they need to produce the full report for that any any activities that they, they just uh, provide in the in the subject so that this portfolio will be evaluated as a final final exam okay which is uh, because the implementation of this uh, subject since this is a fourth year subject the final year student will take the subject this is a very good way for them to learn how to produce the good portfolio instead of the are uh, answering the answer in the final exam okay so since they are need to attend all the webinars that we just arranged together so that we give some uh, some credits to them okay that's mean all the marks for the attendance we we try to give some credits to them so that they, they have some initiative to attend all the webinars and we also give the e-certificate for them for them to to claim for their own activities uh, to be put in their resume to enriching their resume okay so this is the way we try to attract uh, the student to attend all the webinars all right and <clears throat> also we have another webinars that related on ai which is organized by the outsiders okay that's mean uh, there are another free webinars organized by outsiders so we also encourage the student to attend if they are unable to attend the class Okay, so we are uh, encourage them to attend the, the webinar outside so that they also have the credits to claim okay, their knowledge into the subject. All right. And this is some of the grading uh, mechanism that we use. Okay. So we give some credit of, for 10% for attending all the organized webinars. Okay, at least 10 webinars that we set for every semester. And then we have the uh, assignment one, and we have the assignment two, we just grade for 5% and 10%. And we have the online test for the 10%. So the online test will be tested on the knowledge about the uh, theory that we just learned in the class. And we have the mini project, which is uh, touching on the uh, AI programming. And we have the portfolio to evaluate the overall uh, theory, the overall subject, the overall topic that you just learned in the class. Okay, so this is the grading mechanism that we use uh, in the subject, all right? Okay, so this is the feedback, okay? But we can see that the student feedback before we apply the blended learning, okay? The student always asks about it. They cannot understand the concept and theories of AI. It is very difficult to show and demo some AI examples. They, they, they cannot see what, what is the application of AI, okay? And then they, uh, Excuse me, they try to find... Excuse me, professor. You have only five minutes to finish the presentation, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to, to, to finish. All right. Okay. So uh, we have the, the presentation from the student on the course related materials such a great way of learning. So 
the student try to 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 do some comments on the thing they are, they are unable to understand the concept of the uh, subject so they are not really understand the theory so that this is the the before we 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 implement the blended learning so after we implement the blended learning okay the student having the uh, happy on that things because they they have some more knowledge about the ai so they have uh, some some skills okay they have some knowledge that can apply into the uh during the job training okay so that we try to expose them with the uh current ai development and many opportunities during the webinars okay so this is the very positive feedback on the implementation of the blended learning during the uh, pandemic okay so these are some of the extra activities for ai student that uh, this one on uh, organized by the uh, this one is the pakistan okay and this one is uh, the, from the Professor Jude Heyman from India. Okay, so they just have the uh, organized webinar. So we encourage the student to join these activities so that they also can get credits. Okay. All right, so these are some of the example of the webinars that we just finished, some of the recorded webinars that we have. All right, so this is very interesting for them. And workshop on deep learning so we have another external workshop to uh, encourage the student to attend the deep learning workshop so that they, they will get the they will receive the e certificate and they have having some assignment to discuss between the lecturers and the trainer for the uh, assessment all right and how do you see the monitor the, the blended learning so we have the uh, author okay uthm academic online resource is a system that monitor the blended learning so what we can see that this is the status is not blended because there are some components we are not fulfilled so we need to fulfill all these kind of activities so that the system will change to the blended learning like this okay so the status blended if we are fulfill all these uh, everything eh? which is the, the, the info the materials the activities and the assessment okay so these are the way the university monitor the implementation of the blended learning in our university okay all right so as a conclusion the topic of the course need to follow the trends rather than telling the theory so since we have the very the, 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 the theoretical courses so that we need to to tell the student the application that uh that follow the trends the current trends of this uh what's the, what is the ai trends nowadays okay and then we encourage the external guest lecture for more wider perspective on the subject so this will be some new insight new ideas new new knowledge okay that uh, that the student can grab during their webinars instead of they have the theory learning during the uh during the normal class all right so i think with that is a thank you for my sharing